Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back and happy late Thanksgiving. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Noah and today I'm going to be showing you guys tutorial number three. be showing y'all a very cool and easy effect that you can apply inside of your videos. It's been used in many movies, for example like Jaws, and it's called a vertical or a parallax effect. This effect is used very often with drone shots because it can go forward for a long distance and time. So the first step to accomplish this effect is inside the camera. So first you're going to need to go forward for a good amount of distance or time however you want. And then after filming, you take it into Premiere Pro and just add simple keyframes at the beginning and at the end inside of scaling. It's literally extremely easy to do. So now I'm going to take it into Premiere Pro and show you how to accomplish this effect. Now that we're in Premiere, make sure you have the clip that you want to use. I'm going to use this drone shot that I filmed in Iceland. As I was filming this shot, I already had in mind that I was going to use a vertigo effect in this. So I shot this in 4K. Because another important thing to do is to try and film in as high as a resolution as you can because this effect requires you to scale in a good amount. So now let's go to the beginning of the clip, right around there, perfect. And now let's go up to video effects to where it says scale. And you're going to see a little stopwatch symbol right next to it and we're going to click it to activate a keyframe. Now we're going to go over to 100, click that, and we're going to change it to around 150. I'm going to change it around to 150 because that's preferably how I want to do it. But if you want this effect to be more dramatic, you can scale it up even more to 200, 250, depending on how much of a stretch you want. So there we go. Now we have the keyframe at the beginning. So now the next step is to go to the end of the clip. Right around there. I'm going to go to this little diamond symbol back in video effects next to 150. And we're going to click that to add another keyframe. We're going to go back to over 150 and we're going to change that back down to 100 and press enter. Perfect. Now let's render this out real quick so we can see how it looks. Okay, so now that I finished rendering, let's take a quick look at it. See how it's stretching? That's what a vertigo effect is. And another thing that I also do to make it more dramatic, I will speed up the clip. So let's press R, go to the end of the clip, click it and drag it in. We'll go around to 150%. And by you doing that, you're speeding up the clip and making the vertigo effect faster and another way to make it more dramatic. So that's basically how you do a vertigo effect just by doing the keyframe at the beginning, scaling in, and at the end by scaling out. So if this tutorial helped you in any kind of way, please subscribe and like. I'm going to be trying to post a tutorial once a week. And thank you for watching.